Paul, the XYZ UMC 5X. Now we were here about four years ago when I first started at MTD reviewing this machine when it was launched from XYZ. Now we've met with Martin and he spoke about the sales um, of this machine tool and how it's really making an impact into the UK market. Um, let's go over old ground in a way and let's review it again and, and, and find out a bit more why it's doing so well. Going over the old ground, there are some points that I believe are the reasons why it has been successful. I mean, we'll, we'll open the door to start with, and I know something you picked out straight away was something as simple as, as, as how the door opens and uh, how it glides open, and it's on like a linear rail. Attention to detail. But I think when you, when you take into consideration how this machine has been built, was one of the big reasons why they bought it into their portfolio. Now, lots of five axis machines on the market are built in lots of different ways, but some of the things we've always spoken about on this particular model is how it's constructed. And I want to focus on that geo as my first point. Here, you've got a gantry style design, the X axis moves left to right, the Y axis backwards and forwards, which means wherever the, the spindle nose is uh, on the table or whether it's looking to machine, it's got the same support throughout, which is very, very important not just for short term, you know, high speed, quick machining, also for the ability for the machine to last a long time and continue to produce precision results. So having that, that kind of stability and having that, the, the design of the trunnion, I mean, the, the, most of the work on a fifth axis machine tool is when the, the trunnion is orientated at 90 degrees. So does the, how far does the stroke of the Y axis come out? Good point, because uh, um, uh, capacity is what everyone's after in a machine. They want the biggest working envelope in the smallest footprint. Now, as an example here, what XYZ have got, they, if they've got a table here, which is uh, capable of taking 600 kilos, but when it's actually tipped up to 90 degrees, what that means is with the, the Y axis forward, you can actually achieve um, or, or machine apart up to 600 millimeters in length. Now that then sets this machine apart from others within the same footprint uh, when, they're, when they're talking about their competition. So the bigger the part you need to machine, the more opportunity you've got to, to, to be successful at that with this particular UMC model. I mean, taking a weight of 600 kg, you know, this is not restricted to any material, is it, Paul? It's a high torque motor? High torque motor. I mean, this machine, yeah, there's, there's various options with the spindle, uh, the torque of the spindle that comes standard with a chiller, you know, top, top quality spindles on this machine. But the, the table itself is a, is a direct drive table. Uh, it can rotate up to 90 RPM. And it's not that you'd want to actually turn, you know, a part on this particular machine. It's the very fact that you want to go from point to point very quickly, which is where, um, where's, where this table scores by having a direct drive. It's much more agile, it's much more accurate, and it will last a lot longer. So that's an important feature as well. But what I like about this is what we're talking about now is when you go in here, you know, you can see how easy it is to access. I like the fact they've thought about the spec on it, but also how it's built and, and how easy it is to use for an operator. I mean, accessibility is a, is a big point. I mean, it, for, for a person of my size, absolutely perfect. Now, yeah. they come in two models, the four, four plus one and the fifth axis simultaneous, which is the, the 5X, which we're looking at now. We've also got the laser that's going across the top of the, 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 the trunnion. Can, yeah. can you, can you so, describe so your, how so that works? So your laser here um, would allow you to obviously measure the tools. So it means you, you, you know, you, you're, you're not going to be machining in, inaccurate parts and that's a ma massively important. But it's also, it's hidden out the way, which is what you want with the machines. You want accessibility to a machine, which we can see here and you want all of the accessories around it to be, you know, almost in disguise. They work, but you can't see them. And that's really what you get here with this laser. I mean, as well. it speaks for itself, Paul, doesn't it? You can see the quality um, of, of the manufacturing and engineering within that machine tool. And I mean, that, ta that table, I mean, you, you think about this table, do you? How many five axis machines do you see where you've got very easy access? Here, you are, we, we are straight into this table. If you wanted to load, you know, if you wanted to put up to 600 kilo, okay, you're not gonna be able to lift that. But if you wanted to forklift something into this machine, you can do it without there being anything to, 
for the forklift to collide with, uh, drop the component on the table, then be able to set it without anything getting in your way. So that's very important from an operator's perspective. E extremely important. And this machine comes with everything as standard, but if you wanted to automate as well, you can have all automated doors, et cetera. Yeah, and I mean, the, the roof's well. got the concertina, so when you're loading the, the machine as well, if you wanted to load onto the table, that can move back too. So you've got accessibility here and here too. Great points. Now, Paul, it comes as standard um, with the Siemens control, but there are uh, three different options available uh, as well. So it accommodates for different kind of people that have got different controls uh, within their organization. Absolutely, and look at the way this moves here. Um, love doing this sort of stuff on camera. Uh, it takes me back to, to, to being an operator, but being in the machine, having the control here, being able to touch the screen, being able to check you know, the parts, what you're doing, everything is in a very close proximity. We really have taken a lot of uh, thought in how this machine very has been well put built, together. Very well built. Can we have a look around the side, please, Paul? We certainly can. Let's go. So um, first thing to, that jumps out at me is, is the Swarf uh, conveyor here. Now, looking at the inside of the machine with the Swarf extraction, they do have flood wash, which which brings the Swarf down to the front of the machine. So Swarf is going to get out of this machine easily. But here, we're looking at a dimension from left to right, a steep uh, Swarf conveyor, which again, once again, reduces the footprint of the machine. And when you mention footprint, you mentioned the capacity of the part, the size of the parts that you can get into this machine. It is a very small footprint for, for the size of part that you can machine. Yeah, uh, 600 kilograms, whatever material you want, tools as well. In here, we've got this tool uh, open. What I mentioned earlier about the probes, the fact that it was outside of the, the working envelope, you couldn't see it. It's the same with the tool carousel. You're not going to get swarf uh, coming from the machining process into here. It's kept well out of the way, which, which is important. Of course, you, there's, there's options on tools. I think there's, you know, 30, 40, 90. I, I can't remember exactly. You'd need to check the website. But, but lots of different options on, on the amount of tools that this machine can, can hold. Absolutely. And then it even comes as standard with spindle chiller you know, uh, oil skimmer and things like this. That, and how important are things like this, Paul? Oh, massively important because, you know, I've sold machines in the past where people have said, I don't want a swarf conveyor. And you're kind of going, well, how can you not want a swarf conveyor? And they said, well, I want to save two and a half thousand pounds or whatever it might be. And you're like, you're going to, you, you, it's going to cost you that in the time that you're in the machine taking the swarf out over a period. So things like that really are the niceties when you buy a machine, you want those, uh, options included rather than getting a price for a machine and then someone saying, oh, if you want one of those, it's this and this and this. And before you know it, um, you know, the, the price is bumped up and it might be out of your budget. 100%. I mean, this spindle runs continuously. So to have that that spindle chiller is, is extremely um, important. And also free through spindle coolant as well as standard. Great, great machine, Paul. It is. And you can see why sales year on year have increased. They started in this market, as we said, four years ago. Um, every year's got better and better and better. The options that are available with the machines on the control is going to help. Um, but yeah, it really shows that XYZ are now, uh, you know, doing well at Five Axis. Showrooms all over the country for live demos. So get yep, not just here in Nuneaton. They're just opening a new one in uh, Scotland as well, in Livingston. There's also showrooms, uh, I believe, in the um, up in near the Newcastle way and also um, Huddersfield, Sheffield. Plenty of places you can go to see machines like this. And this one is actually available uh, from stock as it stands at the moment. Thank you.